In this video, I will explain the meaning of tolerance limits in SAP and how to configure them in the purchase order and the purchase invoice. If you find the content on this channel helpful and you would like to support, then you should check the channel membership program that I activated on YouTube today. This will allow you to support the channel and in return, as a thank you, I will post extra content, videos and posts that only the members can see. This will not impact the original content I publish every week on the channel for everyone, but I will add extra content for the members. So if you are interested, go to the YouTube channel and click on join, and there you will find another video explaining the program and all the details you need. The tolerance limit is the difference between any two numbers in the system, and you can find it in all SAP modules. And the difference can be either a value or a percentage. So for example, in the purchase order, when we insert the purchase price of any item, we can configure SAP to check the purchase price against the cost of the item in the material master data. And if the difference is bigger than the tolerance limit, then the user will either receive a warning message or an error message. And this will notify the user to check and confirm the details he inserted. And this is very important. Let's assume that SAP is not going to compare the purchase price against the cost of the item. And the user who is doing the purchase order, he did a mistake. He inserted an additional zero in the price. So instead of posting a price of 10 USD per piece, he inserted a price of 100 USD per piece. And this is a very easy mistake. Now after this, he saved the purchase order and we move to the second step in the process, which is the goods receipt. And when we do the goods receipt, no one is checking the value. The stockkeeper is receiving some items, he is going to count the quantity he received, and he is going to post a goods receipt. And the financial entry we post at the goods receipt time will be wrong, because the value of the purchase order is wrong. We are going to discover the mistake only in the invoice receipt, when the accountant does the three-way matching, where he is going to compare the purchase order against the goods receipt, against the invoice receipt. And in the purchase order, he will find a price of 100, but in the invoice, he will find the price as 10 USD per piece. And here he will discover the mistake. And this can be very complicated because most of the time, the inventory that we received is already consumed. So if we are a production company, then we receive some raw materials. These raw materials go directly to the production line. Then after a while, we receive the invoice. We find that there was a mistake in the purchase order. We have to go and do either adjustment entries, which is not justified, so it's not related to the purchase order, or we reverse all the goods and movements we did, trying to fix the mistake that someone did in the purchase order when he inserted an additional zero by mistake. So now you understand how important the tolerance limit is. And we can configure the tolerance limit to be either a percentage or a value. So for example, if the user is inserting a purchase price that is 10% higher than or lower than the cost of the item, then he will receive a warning message so he can confirm his entries. The tolerance limits also exist when we are posting the invoice for the purchase order. So if the user tries to insert a value in the invoice that is much higher or lower than the value we agreed on in the purchase order, he will either get a warning or an error message. And in this case, he has to check with the vendor whether the invoice is wrong or he has to check that he inserted the right values in the screen. Now let's go to SAP S4HANA and see how we can configure the tolerance limits for the purchase order and the purchase invoice. Now I will start by showing you how the tolerance limit message looks like, then I will go into the configuration. To check the message, let's start a purchase order. So transaction ME21N. Vendor, SAP S4HANA. Again, the same information like every time. AG00, AG01. Material is 3031. Plant AG10. And quantity is 100. Storage location is AG11. Okay. Now, this is a material that I'm going to buy now. And if we check the material master data, so double click here. Sorry, double click on the material. And go into accounting one. You can see that this is a moving average material and the periodic unit price or the moving average is 20 per one meter. So this is our price, 20 per one. Now let's go back to the purchase order. 
Now I'm going to change the price to be completely different from this amount so we can see the tolerance limit message. So let's say I'm going to buy one meter for 50 INR. Now this is the message that is related to the tolerance limit. So effective price is 50 INR, material price is 20 INR. So it works whether you have a material that is using moving average or a standard cost, both of them will work. And as you see, this is a warning message. So it is yellow and I can click on OK and I can continue processing the purchase order normally as if nothing happened. So the warning message is only a notification to the user that something might be wrong, but it's not an error. There is a way in the system to convert most of the messages, including this one, from warning to error if needed. This is something that's not related to the tolerance limit configuration. It is actually related to any message you see in the system. So whenever you find a warning message, usually there is a way to transfer it to an error message. And this I will show in a different video. But for now, let's look into the tolerance limit messages. So now because I have a net price that is much higher than the cost I have in the material master data, I received a warning message for the tolerance limit. How can we configure this? Let's go into the configuration. So I will move to the configuration screen, slash O S P R O. Click on SAP reference IMG. Go into material management. Purchasing. We are now working with the tolerance limits in purchase order. So open purchase order. As I told you, you can find tolerance limits everywhere. So for every transaction or for every area of the system, you have a different configuration transaction. This one and look for set tolerance limit for price variance. So if you want to know more details about the configuration activity, as usual, you can click on the activity documentation. Otherwise, you can just go directly into the screen. And here you have the configuration for the tolerance limit by company code. So my company code is AG01. And here we have two transaction keys or tolerance keys. So the first one is for price variance. The second one is for the maximum cash discount deduction allowed. Now I'm working with the price variance one. If you understand the concept from the price variance, you can apply it to the maximum cash discount or you can apply it anywhere else. So for now, I am changing this one, PE. So double click. So for the tolerance key, PE, price variance purchasing, company code AG01 amounts in INR. We have lower limit tolerance and upper limit tolerance. Lower limit this means that you are, the, the purchase price is lower than the cost. Upper limit means that the purchase price is higher than the cost. So for upper limit, we can have either absolute or percentage and same for lower limit. So absolute means a value and percentage is a percentage of the value you are inserting. So for example, if I say I want to check the absolute limit and I say five INR, it means that we cannot exceed a difference of five INR even if the price is 1000. We can never exceed five INR. But if I say a percentage of 10%, it means that if the price is 1000 or if the cost is 1000, then the price can be up to 1100. We have 10% tolerance, percent, tolerance limit uh, allowed. So the configuration I have here is to, to check the limit with a percentage and the maximum percentage allowed is 10%. I also have a check for the lower limit. So if the price of the, in the purchase order is lower than the cost, it can be okay up to 20%. After this, I will receive a warning message. So let's see if this is correct. So as you see here, we have 10% allowed. Let's go back to the purchase order and uh, the cost for the item is 20 and we have 10% allowance which means we can buy up to 22 without receiving a message so let's say 21 INR so this is still higher than the cost the cost is for 20 but now I am inserting 21 if I check the warning messages there is no warning message for the tolerance limit why because I am within the 10% that I configured and if I exceed so if I say 25, for example, and then enter, I will get the warning message because I exceeded the 10%. So now you understand how the tolerance limit works. This is how it works with a percentage. You can use the same example and configure an absolute value. It will work the same way. Now I will click on OK 
and continue with my process. So save the purchase order, copy the PO number, then I will post the invoice. So let's go slash n m i r o. So now we know how the tolerance limit works for the purchase order. Let's see how it works for the invoice. Invoice date 2601-2020. The purchase order number uh, 2021. And the PO number is this, enter. Now, as you see, I don't have an amount or a quantity because we did not post the goods receipt. In this case, we have to insert the amount and the quantity manually. So the purchase order had 100 units and the price was 25 each. So the amount I'm going to pay now, let's say 5,000. And the quantity is again 100. So the total is 5,000. And now let's look into the warning messages we have here. And there is one message saying price too high, tolerance limit of 5% exceeded. So this is the tolerance limit for variance verification. Actually, it is one of the tolerance limits because invoice verification has many tolerance limits. And I will show you this in the configuration now. So how can we configure this 5%? Let's close this. And again, go to the configuration screens, SPRO, SAP reference, go to materials management, purchasing. No, this time we will go into logistics invoice verification. And here there is blocked invoices here, invoice block, then set tolerance limit. This is a different transaction than the one we used for purchase order. And it also works the same way with the company code. So my company code is AG01. Now this time for invoice verification, see how many tolerance keys we have. As I told you, there are many tolerance limits related to the invoice verification. So for example, you have amount for item without order reference or with order reference or form small differences automatically and many others. Now, if you would like to understand the difference between these tolerance keys, you can go back to the SAP RO menu here and click on the documentation. Here, SAP is explaining why everyone is used. Now, the one that is impacting my demo is the price variance. So if I go again to my company code AG01, and this is the one that's impacting me, price variance. So if I click here, we also have lower limit, upper limit, the same as the one used in purchase order, but these are different limits that are used for price variance in invoice verification. So for lower limit, we have absolute percentage. For upper limit, this is the one I'm interested in. So absolute and we have percentage. So as you see here, we have check limit, 100,000 INR. So the if the invoice is 100,000 INR higher than the purchase order, then the user will receive a warning. And I also have a percentage check limit at 5%. So if the invoice amount is 5% higher than the purchase, uh, the purchase price, we should get a warning message, which is what happened when we did the invoice right now. So if I go back, the warning I'm getting here is tolerance limit of 5% exceeded. The, what I wanted to show you here is if we have both the value and the percentage configured, SAP will pick the lower one. So since 5% is lower than 100,000, SAP is picking 5%. But if I have a value that is lower than the percentage, SAP will pick the value. So if I go here and I make this one INR, save. Now let's go back and try to process the invoice again. Remember that whenever you change the configuration, you have to restart the transaction. So now I'm restarting the invoice and again, the same details. Purchase order. And the amount is 100, let's say again, 5,000, the same amount and the same quantity. Amount is 5,000. Now I'm getting the warning message if I check. 
the message is a little different this time. Price too high, tolerance limit of one INR exceeded. Because the value is lower than the percentage that we set up in the configuration, SAP is checking with the value. Now we understand the meaning of tolerance limits in SAP and how they can be configured for purchase orders and invoice verification. If you like the video, don't forget to share it with others who may be interested and leave me your comments, tell me if you find it helpful and whether you have any experiences with this topic. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.